Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with another lesson on the Focus 40 and today we're going to take it into diagnostic mode and we're going to clean it. Now, I highly suggest before you begin using your wonderful brow display in general, we already know we're humans, it's impossible, but keep your hands clean. And if you know they're dirty, don't use your brow display because the oils and the dirt and food and whatnot clog those little braille cells and then it stops the little uh, braille cell, the dots that lift up to stop working. So this is how you clean it. And I highly suggest if you're an active user, every one to two months, keep it clean. And of course, that will save you lots of money from having to send it in and get it repaired. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting my left hand, I'm putting my thumb on the little handle. I'm going to put my middle finger on the power button. I'm going to take my right hand, move it over to the first two router buttons above the first two braille cells and my finger is big enough to hold those two router buttons down all simultaneously so the two router buttons and the power button simultaneously at least for three seconds i of course am listening for the little pop now i know that what pops up directly below is the word press cr key slash nav slash panel however it's very fast it pops up and then it disappears. So if you don't know to look for it, you're gonna miss it. So highly just use your ears and listen to it. Here we go. Okay, and I immediately heard it, and of course it popped up so fast and disappeared so fast. So if you do it quickly and you hear the click, you have to move your fingers down really fast. Well, it's gone, okay? And it's nice and flat. So the first test I wanna do is uh, test to see if all my router buttons are working. So I take my left finger, I place it on the first router key, and then I take my right finger over the braille cell, and I press on the, on the router, and sure enough, all eight dots pop up. I go ahead and move over, all eight dots pop up, and now I'll remove my right hand so you can actually see it. I'll move my thumb up there so visually you can actually see the um, braille cell. All the dots pop up, and that's the whole point. Uh, that, so that's one, one test. You can actually see if the dots, but there's a better one, okay? So that's to make sure your router keys are working. Now I'm going to turn it off again. So once again, my left hand, my thumb uh, holds that little handle, and I press the power button, and I listen for it to go to sleep. So the audio feedback is, is really crucial um, yeah, for me probably, and probably for any user too. Okay, so now let's go into the display test, how to clean this. And this is the most important. And you probably don't need to do the other test, but if you want to, you have those commands. So let's go ahead and how do we clean this? Once again, these have to be simultaneous. I'm taking my right hand, I'm going to the last two router keys on the brow display all the way to the right. I've got my finger on the power button. Once again, my thumb is holding that little handle to do it easily. And even I have my pinky bracing uh, the right end of the display. I'm going to hold this down until I hear all of the keys pop up. Here we go. And I just heard them. And of course I feel them and they've all popped up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually have them go down and have them go up. Uh, and I'm going to show you that and then I'll show you how to clean them. So I'm going to go over to my rocker buttons. You can either do the left or the right hand side. It doesn't matter. And if I push them down, they all disappear. Okay. If I push them up, they all pop up. So let's start off with having them all down and cleaning just the board. So I'm going to press it down. All of the cells disappear. You want a very soft chamois. Okay, this is what I also use for my monitors. You need pure alcohol. You do not want moisture getting into your cells. You just want enough pure alcohol, just enough moisture when it gets in, cleans, and then it's it's gone, it, it evaporates. So put a tiny bit of pure alcohol on, alcohol on it, and you wanna go ahead and just really clean. Now remember, this is the flat part. You wanna go ahead and clean this really, really well. I'm just moving back and forth cleaning the whole surface. Oh my gosh, I want that nice and clean, nice and clean. Okay, go ahead and clean your router buttons at the same time, clean the edges, get all the oils and the dirt off. Okay, that's down. Now I'm going to press my rocker button and all my braille cells are going to pop up. Yep, there they are. They're all up. Now I'm going to do it again. So if you're visual, you can actually see the keys go down. They're down now and I'm going to press it again and they go up. Okay, so now all the braille cells are up. And this is where you really want it. You've cleaned all the surface and the holes. Now you want to clean the dots. Little tiny circles. Little tiny circles. I start on the, on the far left-hand side, and I do tiny little circles 
over all the Braille cells, okay? And I've already done this before, so let's just say I've done it all the way to the right and cleaned them. Now, you wanna go in and you wanna to check to make sure they're all working. So I just place my left hand on the Braille cells while I push my mode button. Once again, you can push your mode button on either side that's right above your rockers. And let's go ahead and push the mode. And they immediately start flicking up and down. So just run your hands along, check to see if you like all of it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, it's clean, it's great. So I'm just gonna hit the mode button. I'm gonna stop it. So that's how you clean it, that's how you check it, that's how you make sure everything is working correctly. When you know it is, turn it off. Once again, left hand, left thumb on the handle, right finger on the power button, and I'm going to click, let's listen for it, and you can hear the brow cells disappear. And done, okay? That's how you maintain your Focus 40. Once again, depending on your use, keep those brow cells clean it will really increase the lifetime of your bra display and save you lots of money from having to send it in for maintenance. And that's how you do that.